We are here in, are we still in Traverse City? No. We're here somewhere in Michigan at a, at a really nice lake. I don't know what- City. Torch Lake. Torch Lake, Torch Lake in Michigan. We're here at the brothers. Hi. Brother Matt. Hey. Brother Israel. Hey, what's up? Sister Raina. Praise the Lord. And then Brother Adam is off somewhere. And uh, we're about to preach uh, on the boats. So we're gonna preach like Jesus on a boat, bro. Yes, it's I'm gonna be. It's gonna be very this. exciting. We're this. gonna praise God. Yeah, we're yes. gonna glorify the Lord. Glory to His name. There's a lot of boats on this on this lake. Uh, you'll see it. It's it's a crystal clear lake. Um, looks like the Caribbean. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Caribbean. Not as close, but it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna we're gonna be preaching. A lot of people partying on the boats, and they're not gonna expect uh, God and His people to come crash their little sinful party. This is not going to be expected. You're right about that. This is going to be a huge surprise. A huge surprise. You want to say anything, either of you? Uh, it, says, uh, it says in the word, he says, I was found by those that didn't look for me. Yes. It has been manifest by those who didn't seek after me. So they're not looking for him today, but uh, he's coming for him. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Call you out of this life of sin. We just swam from the boat. And this sign is already bringing a lot of people around. You guys need to fear God. Fear God. Hey, the Bible says that outside of the dogs, the sexually immoral, the idolaters, all those that love and lie, outside are they. They do not enter in to the glory of God. How are you going to enter into God's presence? You need the power of the word of God. Hey, he needs God to cause you to approach him to Christ. You become a Christian when you renounce your sins, the Bible says, since we have this ministry, as we have received grace, you we have it, renounced the hidden things of change. What do you think, bro? Is we have renounced them. I have renounced my poor watching. Is, is God real? Yeah, that's real. Yeah, is he holy? I don't know if it's all about. I don't know. God's holy, man. No sin's allowed in his kingdom. Huh? No sin is allowed in God's kingdom. Really? Yeah. No, bro, I used to. No. Are you God? Do you know what's inside my brain? Yes or no? Are you God? Am I God? There's no, this isn't a horn. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Okay. You gotta be holy if you wanna go to heaven. Jesus wants to take you to heaven. He's real. But you gotta be holy. Obedience to God's the key. You have to obey God if you wanna go to heaven. Disobedience takes us to hell. I can't watch porn. No. But, but you're enslaved to the porn though. Jesus says he who sins is a slave of sin. You don't need that, bro. Mankind li survived without it for all these years. You don't need porn. Yes, 
suffer because he considers and turns away from all his transgressions which he has committed. But when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and says he commits iniquity, it says none of his righteousness shall be remembered. And the people said the way of the Lord is not fair. O house of Israel, is it not my ways that are fair? It's your ways that are not fair? But come down, I, go to I hell. will judge you everyone according to his own ways, says the Lord God. Are you insane? Repent and cast away from you all your... Hey, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop, stop. You stop. We're not for kicking water. You stop. We're just trying to have a good time. I know, time. but it, technically that's assault. You can't do that. It's assault for kicking water on the floor. Assault. It is. Assault. If you can't handle the preaching, just walk away. I'm like, oh no, I can't handle it. Hey, you came out here to party, man. Go party. Go on your party. I thought you're having such a good time. I thought it was such a good time out here. You can't talk that all about you. I'm preaching right now. What's your question? You can ask me. Ask me. What's that? Not, not necessarily everybody. You know what? But, but most people out here are, God? who are partying, drinking, drugs, and sex, and all these things. They are. They're against the Bible. They need to repent. They need the Lord. The wisdom of God is pure. Jesus says, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. Jesus never started a religion. Do you know that? I was lied to by religion for 21 years of my life. Jesus never started a religion. Like, you don't have a religion with your mom and dad, do you? You don't have a religion with them. You have a relationship with them. So Jesus doesn't teach us to have a religion with God. Jesus has to have a relationship with God. How? You have to obey God. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. So if I don't love God, I'm going to do what I want and sin. But Jesus says to the woman caught in adultery, go and sin no more. He says to her, go and sin no more. He didn't say, it's okay, sweetie. My grace he says, go and sin no more. I forgive you, but from this point on, no more sleeping around. Why? Otherwise, hell. Because God's holy and he's perfect. Thou shalt not have false gods before me. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Excuse me, I'm, I'm talking to her peacefully. Keep holy the Sabbath. Thou shalt honor thy mother and father. Actually, are you Catholic? Wait, are you, are you Catholic? That wasn't the second commandment. Are you Catholic? Are you Catholic? That's not the second commandment. The second commandment is thou shalt not take the Lord's name. No, it's not. That's not the second commandment. What's the second commandment? You're Catholic. I was born and raised Catholic. They lied to you and me. They lied to us. What's the second commandment? The second commandment is in Exodus chapter 20 verse 4. What is it? You shall not have any graven images. That's the real second commandment. The Catholic Church took that out. and like replaced an iPad. It. No, like, like icons of saints. The Catholic Church, read Exodus chapter 20. Well, there were originally like hundreds of commandments, weren't there? And they just limited it down to 10 in, in Vatican II? Well, Jesus says... in Vatican II that they limited down to... Well, Jesus limited it. Jesus, Jesus is the real is the is the is the one who gives the law, not the priests. Right. Oh, of course. So we like, have to read the gospels why, and follow why, Jesus. Why were there not like? Why do we not follow all of, like the hundreds of commandments that were originally? We're under, we're under a new a new covenant. Right. There was the Old Testament, and the New Testament. Correct. So we're under the new covenant. Jesus gave us new commands. For example, he says in John 13, he says, "I give you a new command." Jesus says, "Love one another as I have loved you." So Jesus gave us new commands. So, and we listen. And, we listen to the priests, right? So uh, the, the, Vatican, the Vatican put something in place. Do you go along with that, or is that not? No, because that goes against what Jesus says. Jesus doesn't say to follow what the priests say. That's the rule of the man, not the rule of God, correct? Correctly. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, to the apostles, go and command them whatever I commanded you. So the priests don't command what Jesus commanded you. The priests command what they command. What they become God. How many are there? Uh, there's 10, right? The original. Yeah, but the laws of Moses, there's 613 laws. Right, right, right. right. Those laws also acted as like city ordinances to govern the society too. Right, right. No, I guess. So we don't have and, there, and there was a reason behind some of them like like not eating shellfish right. because and not eating pork because there are a lot of pesticides and bacteria. No, it's because it. the, the pagans were doing it. The Satanists were doing it at the time. The pagan worship. Can you guys okay. like uh, move 500 feet that way? I don't know, bro. We're, we're just here to help people. We don't want to cause problems. You know, everybody else has their blasting music. We're just we're practicing our freedom of speech too, just like everybody else. We don't want problems. What? Uh, what? what oh, wait, hold on. No attention. I'm, I'm having a good conversation. With him, please let me finish. Uh, uh, what, what, uh, what, uh, what sect of uh, Christianity is this? None. I follow Jesus. We follow Jesus. That's what Jesus commands. No. 
We follow Jesus. Jesus says, Jesus says, follow him only. What religion? Some of the people down there might want to hear the word. We might get there eventually, but first we want to stay here. Yeah, I think those guys over there were like, can I please finish talking? I want to hear the word. Well, I'm talking. I'm having a nice conversation with this gentleman. I mean, we have a Cleveland. I have a YouTube channel called Cleveland Street Preachers. We're not condemning people. We're trying to help people. They're warning them. Yeah, it's like it's like if I go to the what to the you, what are you warning us from? For hell. That's what Jesus did. Sin. What are we saying? Well, no, hey, are you drunk? Kyle, Kyle. Do, do you do you fornicate outside of marriage? Do you continue to lie? Do you have lustful thoughts and dwell in them and fantasize? Do you sleep outside of marriage? Do you watch porn? These are sins. Marriage, marriage is supposed to be created by God as a holy, a holy relationship. Um, why, why is it that we fear God and not Satan? Because God, if God is the race Catholic, still like appreciate everything, but like if God is all love and all knowing, all powerful, like created love, why do we fear God and not Satan? Because Jesus says, Luke 12, 5, fear the one who has the power to put your soul in hell. Satan doesn't have that power. Why should I fear the devil? Jesus overcame the devil. So I fear the one who has the power to put me in hell. That's God. But if, that's we, if we were to go to hell, that's the only time we would actually, like, in, in punishment. You choose hell. We, we, we would indulge punishment if we were to go to hell. So that should be the one, the thing that we fear. Not God. Who can put us there? God. I have to to a college. I have a degree. I have a finance degree. Finance degree? So you're saying we should not fear Satan? No, absolutely not. Why not? Because he's not God. Why should I fear the devil when Jesus overcame him? I fear the all-powerful one. The devil's not all-powerful. Why would I fear the devil? I fear the devil. Because he has... He has no. Jesus says, Luke 10, 19, I give you authority over the devil. It's evil and suffering. No, Jesus says, I give you authority over the devil. Hey, they're being peaceful. Hey, that's assault, guys. Guys, that's assault, guys. Hey, just chill. That's assault, brother. That's assault. Bro, that's assault. Hey, hey, that's assault, bro. That's assault, bro. That's assault. Yeah, it is. That's assault, bro. If the cops come, you're gonna go to jail, bro. If the cops come, you're gonna go to jail, bro. That's assault. That's assault. Wouldn't the only reason to follow the commandments and follow it, like, the ultimate goal is to go to heaven, right? Yes. But. What's to love God? That's the number one. Well, no, no, no. You want? I mean, eventually you get there, but the real, the real reason to do it is to avoid going to hell, right? There's only, there's only. Well, that's how you start off. That's the fear of the Lord. But when you get a relationship, one reason you're supposed to build a relationship with the Lord. That's why Jesus says, "If you love me, keep my commandments." So I fear God at first, but then as I grew in my walk with God, I developed this love. Like you don't fall in love with someone right away, right? It takes time with the relationship. So then it like transitions. I mean, I still fear God because well, I don't, I don't, I don't start. Off. I don't start a relationship with someone because I fear they're gonna like I know, condemn but my God, soul. He's God though. He has that power nobody else does. He's God. He's God. He can, we have to, he's Almighty. We have to know who He is. We have to, we have to get humble and fear Him. He's God. He, he don't need us. He created us. He can throw us wherever He wants. Is, is there a way to get to heaven without, like, without even God? You just want to do that. Like, you follow, the, you follow the law, you follow His word, and you do everything you're supposed to. But somehow, like, you were, you were built with like. You, you just can't build that connection. But no, you can't. Jesus never says you can't. You still, you still, like you say, I still fear God. I still don't want to go to hell. I still follow the laws. I still follow the commandments. But I can't build a lot of connection. Can I still? Uh, you can build. Jesus never says you can't. You gotta follow what Jesus says, bro. That's your idea. No, I'm saying you. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying if you don't. If you don't, then you go to hell. Build that connection. We have to go all in. Do you have a purgatory? No, that's not even in the Bible. Really? It's handmade. The word Pope is not in the Bible. Bro, that was Catholic for 21 years. Catholic. Catholic grade school, Catholic high school, Catholic college. They lied to us. Right. If you read the Gospels, I was shocked. Jesus says, Matthew 23 9, to the priest, call no man father. Why do they call a priest father? Well, do you agree that some of the translation from ancient Islam into like could have been translated wrong into when it was converted into English? There's different translations that are wrong, but there is a good translation. The original. Which, what, what, what is the version of the Bible that's most, most accurate and correct? I believe the King James after all my reading of the Yeah, because it was the New Testament. The, first te the New Testament was first written in Greek. Right. So, so, um, 
that original Greek translation, the best one I believe is the King James. My pastor's from Greece, so he, he's been reading the Greek. When you guys know you're going to cause a problem, and you have to videotape. They killed Jesus. That, why did they kill the apostles? No, excuse me, I'm talking to you. You also, you also set up right in front of a business I'm trying to run. Okay, that's great. We're in front of God's business. We're trying to run and save souls from hell. You're taking your souls to hell. They're, they're not going to have a cloak for their sins. And I believe that. 